Have you ever wanted to make a hover effect on your image? So meaning if I hover my mouse over, it's going to shift to a different image. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to teach you how to do that without using any kind of Squarespace plugin. Okay, so first we do have to get this block ID. I'm going to show you real quick. Uh, this is a Squarespace ID finder. Uh, we need to download this to find the block ID for it. So for example, I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to activate that Google Chrome extension. Alright, so I activated it and this is the block ID that I need right there as you can see. So I'm going to copy and paste that. Once I got my block ID that I need, I'm going to go to design. I'm going to go to custom CSS. Once I'm at custom CSS, I'm going to copy and paste the code. And to get this code, you can get on my website. So this is the code that you need. So I'm going to copy and paste this. All right, so this is the code. It should look like this. And now you're going to just add the block ID that you just did before. All right, so I added my block ID right here. So I just put that in here. And now I'm going to add the image URL. Now the, for this part, I do want to caution you, uh, this will not work if your picture size is different. So for example, this is 1080 by 1080. So the proportions are the same. So if I hover over, as you can see, the proportions are the same. If you hover over it, it might be distorted if, if it's not the same image size. So make sure that both pictures or images are the same image size. So to add your other picture, you're going to go to custom files and then you're going to add your image. All right, so once your image is added, you just want to delete this part right here. Leave your cursor right here. Go to go back to manage custom files. Click on your picture and it should appear in the URL section right here. Make sure everything's formatted correctly. I'm going to click out. I'm going to press save. Everything should be good to go. Now I'm going to go back and let's see if it's working and it looks like it is working and that's how you do the hover effect without using any Squarespace plugins